The story follows Tanjiro, who lives with his family on the remote mountain. After his father's death, he shoulders the burden of supporting the family. One day, he goes down to the village to sell charcoal, but on his way back, he is warned of the existence of flesh-eating demons that lurk in the woods at night. The next day, he returns home to the horrifying sight of finding his family slaughtered and his sister Nezuko, the sole survivor, turned into a demon. Fueled by rage and hatred, Tanjiro joins the Demon Slayer Corpse to avenge his family and turn his sister back into a human. The story follows Tanjiro and his companions as they battle demons and protect humanity. After the second season, Tanjiro now goes to the place where all the Nichiri blades are born, in an attempt to fix his broken katana. Unbeknownst to him, the demons are also preparing to make their next move. The release date for the third season is April 9, and although it has not been confirmed by official sources, the anime is expected to run for about 11 episodes, with the first one being a 1 hour long special that premiered in the latest theatrical release. The staff is carrying over from previous seasons and movie iterations, and with the visual quality work that Ufotable has been delivered in titles such as Fate, and especially previous seasons of the Slayer, this is without a doubt the most anticipated work from the upcoming season. High schooler Taiju is ready to confess his love to user Gia when a green light strikes the earth and turns every human into stone. Several millennia later, Taiju awakens to find the modern world completely non existent, as nature has flourished in the years humanity stood still. Among a stone world of statues, Taiju encounters one other living human, his science loving friend Senku, who has been active for a few months. Taiju learns that Senku has developed the grand scheme to launch the complete revival of civilization with the help of science. Taiju's brawn and Senku's brain combine to forge a formidable partnership, and they soon uncover a method to revive those who are petrified. After the second season, Senku and the Science Kingdom are making the final preparations in order to sail across the ocean. The third season will premiere April 6 and will run for two consecutive course and expected to have about 24 episodes. This season is a direct sequel of the previous released special Dr. Stone Ryu Swin that bridges the second and now the third season. The staff carried over from previous seasons with the only difference being the director, that while he didn't work in either of the two previous seasons, he acted as director of the previously mentioned special that continued the same design, animation style and quality of previous seasons. If you are a fan of Dr. Stone, this is a must-watch continuation of the story. The Ancient Mega's Bride is a dark fantasy anime series that follows the story of Chize Hattori, a 15-year-old Japanese girl who was sold for 5 million pounds at an auction to a tall masked gentleman. Abandoned at a young age by her family and ridiculed by her peers, she was ready to give herself to any buyer if it meant having a place to go home. In chains, and on her way back to an unknown fate, she hears whispers from robed men along her path, gossiping and complaining that such a buyer got his hands on a rare sleigh baggie. Ignoring the murmurs, the mysterious man leads the girl to a study where he reveals himself to be Elias Ainsworth, a magus. Greeted by fairies and surrounded by weird and powerful beings upon her arrival, these events mark the beginning of Chida's stories as the apprentice and supposed bride of the ancient magus. Together, Chise and Elias embark on various adventures and encounter many challenges, including battling evil creatures delving into Elias' mysterious past and navigating the complexities of their relationship as master and apprentice, as well as their growing affection for each other. The release date for the second season is April 6, with a total of 12 episodes. The animation studio changed from Studio Wit to Studio Kafka, 
which already animated the three OVAs that were released in 2021 and 2022. Even though a change of studio and director happened, the quality should be on par, if not better, than the first season, if the OVAs are anything to go by. Tonikawa is a romantic comedy anime series that follows the story of Naza Yuzai, a high school student who is extremely studious and has his sights set on attending a prestigious university. One day, he is hit by a truck while trying to save a girl and is rescued by her. He falls in love with her at first sight and confesses his feelings to her. The girl, Tsukasa Tsukuyomi, agrees to date him but only if he marries her. Naza is taken aback by her request but he also agrees to it nonetheless. They get married right away and their life together begins. The series then follows the couple as they navigate their new life together, including their quirks and traits, as well as their individual and shared goals and aspirations. Along the way they encounter various challenges, including a group of girls who are interested in Naza and Tsukasa's mysterious past. Tonikawa is a heartwarming and light-hearted anime that explores the themes of love, friendship and the importance of pursuing one's dreams. It features a diverse cast of characters, each with their own unique personalities and backgrounds. Its rather unique art style plays into the comedic portion of the story by overemphasizing the different reactions of the pair in their day-to-day -day life. The second season will premiere April 8th and, although the total number of episodes hasn't yet been confirmed, it should follow the previous season and have about 12 episodes in total. The studio and director remain the same as the previous releases of this type. An era when a multitude of corporations have entered space and built a huge economic system. After transferring to the Astikasi School of Technology from the planet Mercury, Suleta Mercury has experienced a school life filled with encounters and excitement as both Miorine Bridegroom and a member of Gundam Army. Suleta spends her days at the school anticipating her reunion with Miorine. Miorine, meanwhile, has stationed herself at the head office of the Benedict Group, monitoring her father's condition. The two are about to face new hardships and pressing decisions. Each with her own feelings in her heart, the girls will confront the mighty curse the Gundam brings. The second season is set to premiere April 9 and scheduled to have 12 episodes, while the animation studio and staff remain the same. In a thoughtless blunder, God accidentally strikes down Toya with a stray bolt of light. As an apology, God offers him one wish and the chance to live again in a magical fantasy. Toya happily accepts the offer and, for his last wish, asks only to keep his smartphone with him as he begins his journey into this mysterious new world. In the new world, Toya discovers that he has been given special powers and abilities, as well as the ability to use his smartphone to communicate with others and access information. He sets out on a journey to explore his new world and make friends. Along the way, he discovers a plot by a powerful enemy to overthrow the ruling king, and he decides to use his powers to stop. Toya makes friends with a variety of characters in the fantasy world, including a group of female warriors, a young princess and even a demon lord. He helps them with their own personal problems and battles, while also trying to uncover the plot to overthrow the king. The first episode airs April 3rd and the new season runs for 12 episodes in while the reviews for the first season are not great, this series seems to be popular in Japan, hence the green light for a second season. Due to the number of years that have passed, 6 in total, the second season is being animated at the JC Staff Studio with a different director and character designer from the previous season. <laughs> After fanatically playing the VR MMO World Fantasy Online for almost a year, the shut-in 15-year-old Yuna receives a bear costume from the game's administrators. The outfit, 
While somewhat embarrassing to wear, it turns out to have overpowered stats and effects that make her character significantly more powerful. After receiving the very equipment, she finds herself transported to another in-game world that prevents her from returning to reality. Confused and unable to log out, Yuna sets out to explore this new environment. She rescues a girl named Fina from Wild Wolves, who then guides her to the city of Cremona. With her eccentric bear attire, however, Yuna stands out wherever she goes, and alongside her boosted fighting prowess, her reputation quickly rises, to the point that people give her the nickname Bloody Bear. Undeterred by this change in her life, Yuna decides to take the role of an adventurer, and fully enjoy herself in her new world. The release date is set to April 3rd, with a total of 12 episodes. The anime studio and staff remain the same as the previous season. Birdie Wing is a sports anime that follows the story of a group of high school girls who are passionate about golf. The main character, Aoi, is a talented golfer who dreams of becoming a professional. As Aoi and her friends join their school's golf club, they face various challenges and obstacles including rival teams and personal struggles. With hard work and dedication, the girls work together to improve their skills and achieve their goals. Throughout the series, the girls participate in tournaments and matches, competing against other teams and players from around the country. As Aoi continues to pursue her dreams of becoming a professional golf, she must overcome personal setbacks and push herself to new limits. With the support of her friends and mentors, she learns important lessons about life in golf and discovers what it truly means to follow her passion. The release date for the second season is set to April 7th, and while the number of episodes is not confirmed, it should follow the previous season and have around 12 to 13 in total. The animation studio and staff are the same as in the previous season. Tokyo Mew Mew New is a sequel to the original Tokyo Mew Mew anime series set several years after the events of the first show. The story follows a new group of girls who become infused with the DNA of endangered animals and gain special powers to protect the environment from evil forces. The main protagonist is a girl named Zaitatsu who transforms into a Mew Mew with the power of the iridescent beetle. She is joined by other Mew Mews including a wolf, a penguin and a cheetah. Together the Mew Mews must battle against a new threat to the earth a group of aliens who seek to take over the planet by destroying its natural resources. In addition to fighting the aliens, Retatsu and her friends must also navigate the challenges of their daily lives, including school and personal relationships. Throughout the series, the Mew Mews face increasingly difficult challenges and confrontations, but they learn to rely on each other and their newfound powers to overcome. Along the way, they also dish discover the true nature of their powers and the importance of preserving the Earth's environment. The release date for the new season is April 4, and it should run for 12 episodes like the previous season. The animation studio and staff remain the same as in the previous season. Evans Zero follows the journey of a young boy named Shiki Granbell, who lives on a deserted planet inhabited solely by robots. Shiki has the unique ability to control gravity and dreams of leaving his planet to explore the vast universe. One day, a group of visitors arrives on the planet, including a girl named Rebecca, who is a famous BQ. Shiki becomes fast friends with Rebecca and together they embark on a journey to explore the cosmos aboard the spaceship Evans. As they travel from planet to planet, they face challenges and obstacles, including powerful enemies who seek to control the universe. Together with his new friends, including the robotic cat Happy and the mysterious warrior Homura, 
Shiki must use his gravity powers to defend himself and his companions while uncovering the mysteries of the universe and his own past. The release date is set to April 1st and the animation studio and staff remain the same as the previous season. Thank you. 